Well, it looks like we got somebody in the chat room. Um, sitting out here waiting on the wife to get off work. Figured I'd jump in here for a little bit of a live, see if anybody had any questions. So uh, let me know who's in here. Post a comment in the uh, in the comments. Got a couple people in here. Hope everybody's doing good tonight. Like I said, I'm sitting here waiting on my wife to get off work. Uh, she's a nurse. And then we're going to go get some dinner. We, uh, we're on the end of a 48-hour fast, so I'm looking forward to, uh, to a big old steak dinner tonight. Post in the comments. Let me know who's here. Where's everybody from? You know, I knew you'd be in here, Richard. You, you almost like you stalked me. How you doing, Richard? Good evening to you, too. I could not hit... Not hit the like or leave comment like it's happening. It's fun of living in the woods. Yeah, yeah, I have the same problem. I'm mo I'm mobile right now, sitting on my cell phone out here in my car, waiting on the on the wife to get off work. Uh, but you know, I figured this would be a good time to get in here and get some one on one with uh, anybody that wanted to ask questions. So feel free to throw some questions in there. If you got some questions about the carnivore diet or just questions about things in general, like I said, I'm just sitting out here waiting on the wife to get off work and figured I'd jump in here and see what was going on on, on the, uh, on the YouTube. A few people in here. Post some comments in here, guys, and I'll respond to you. Oh, different doing this something from my cell phone. Don't seem to have as much control as I would from from the house, my computer. If you want to go live with me, there's the link.
All right, guys. Well, like I said, I'm on day or I'm on uh, hour uh, 40 or yeah, 42, 43 of a, of a 48 hour fast waiting on the wife to get off work here. We're going to go and get some dinner afterwards. I'm down to 70 pounds. Richard says, uh, uh, I only have a phone. I miss the stuff that people see on the computer screens. Yeah, it's a little different streaming from my cell phone than it is streaming from my computer. It's a little bit more complicated, but uh, not too bad. Carnivore Soldier. Hey, bud, if you're not busy, I threw a link in the in the, uh, in the the chat there. Come on in. I'm just sitting here killing some time. Figured I'd see what was going on if anybody wanted to talk or ask questions. Cool. So, Richard, how's live up in uh, Copper Hill uh, today? Weather here in Knoxville has been uh, been kind of cruddy. Well, we got another person in here. Uh, Carnivore Soldier is supposed to be joining me here in a minute, so we'll have a couple people on here talking. But uh, we're just uh, chilling here, uh, having a conversation, see if anybody's got any questions. Anybody wants to talk? Richard says, off and on, cloud cover, 70-ish temperature. Um, we had thunderstorms roll through here. It's cu cloud cover right now, and uh, uh, poured down the rain earlier, but it's pretty dry now. Sorry, I'm trying to get my camera up. You guys hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, let me get my camera up here. It's uh, it's not up right now. Hold on. I just had to start up my battle station. I understand. Yeah, yeah, it was it was coming down. Well, 
you know, it cleared out now. Well, now it's just overcast. The clouds moving through pretty quickly, I should say. It's working. How's it going, man? Good, brother. How you doing? I'm doing great. Been a busy day. I just got off work. Yeah, me too. Me too. The the wife and I carpool in some days when we both work. That way we can save gas. And so I'm sitting out here in the parking lot waiting on her to get off work, which could be in could be in a half an hour, could be in an hour. You never know with a nurse. So yeah. Oh yeah, I know medical. Yeah, I got my dog sitting here begging because it's almost dinner time. Uh, he eats at 5.30, so he's on a clock right now looking at me, you know, waiting for that raw chicken to come down. And then after that, I got to grind a bunch. I got 40 pounds in there. I got to grind and put it in the freezer because I'm just about out. Well, yeah, we did 20 pounds the other day, and, and uh, uh, two of my dogs love it, but one of the dogs won't, won't even hardly touch it. Have you tried warming it a little bit? Tried warming it? Is that what you said? Yeah, you can try warming it at first for that one. And then slowly get it to room temperature um, once they get used to it. Uh, my neighbor had to do that. He had he actually kind of cooked it a little bit. He threw it in a pan and warmed it up for him. <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe or maybe not at work. But that's interesting. It that makes sense. It might, it might have been too cold. You know, I don't know. I'll have to look at that. But uh, the other dogs absolutely love it. That's yeah. a great idea. Or let it sit out on the counter to get room temperature, at least. If it's out of the fridge or the freezer, you know, yeah. let it sit out. That's a good idea. So I'm on the back end of a, of a 48 hour fast now. I'm a, I'm at, I don't know, 42 hours or something or 44 hours. I should say. Yeah. I so, caught that in the beginning. I heard, I heard you say that. Yeah. I'm i uh, I'm ready to eat now. I'm like uh steak dinner sounds really good. We're going to go down here to a little restaurant that I like. Um, they got a, what they call a Louisiana sirloin. It's got, um, uh, real butter on it and some, uh, some a uh, little bit of pepper and stuff on it, but it's really, really good. That's cool. That sounds so you've had, good. You've had, go ahead. Oh, I'm, I'm you, sorry, dropping out. I said that sounds good. Yeah, you uh, you have some good videos you put out lately. I've been watching some of your stuff, so that's cool. Yeah, I got one out this morning on uh, my day one seventy five video. Uh, and uh, I just got monetized, which is pretty cool. I mean, that was kind of neat. So that that was interesting. So um, you hit the you hit the four thousand mark. Get... Or... What's that? You hit the four thousand watch hour mark, or, or the three thousand? Yeah, it was the four thousand. Uh, cool. So uh, I don't know what that means. I mean, uh, from what I understand, it's not much. It's like a dollar or two a day, but you know. Um, so you but got, it's good. You got you got to go in there and set it all up. And then yeah, you have to go. I, I, I got to figure that out. I got to look at then, it. Then you got to go back through every video and set it up. So not only do you have to get a, you have to set up with Google for ad for their ad sense and get that done and then get it all set up. And then you got to go back through your, through each video and set it up. Well, you I, want did to that. That I did the ad sense and then it did, it did it on the, all the old videos all say monetized. Now they have a dollar sign by them. So it did. But it doesn't backdate your sh views. It's just future views on those videos, apparently. Oh, sure. No, no, no. Of course, it's going to be future views. I don't know. I heard that you had to go through and make sure it was all set up for each video. So you might do some research on that. Yeah, I'll Looks check. Like we got uh, Keto Cheeto. I love that name. Keto hey. Cheeto. Hakuna Matata. Right. Hakuna nice. Hakuna Matata. It's a wonderful thing. Yep. Yeah. That panel we had the other night on your channel was awesome, man. That was such a great night. Are you down for another Sunday? Uh, this Sunday, I don't know. I have to check. If you send me an invite, okay. I'll look at it. I think I have, I think I have uh, something going on, but I might be able to be part of it. But just uh, send me an invite, and I'll look at my calendar. Okay. I got JT confirmed. I'm working on a former fat girl, uh, trying to get her, you know, on there. Um, and then, you know, a couple more. Um, and I think we're going to talk about, uh, we're, talk, we're going to 
I, I've been back and forth. JT sent me some ideas and stuff, but I was thinking about maybe talking about different cuts of meat, you know, and, you know, and, and especially regional stuff, what you can find in where you're at in Texas, what I find here in Tennessee, yeah. you know, obviously Longhorn. if you're in, if you're in Texas, there's a lot of brisket. Yeah. A lot Longhorn. Of Longhorn. Longhorn brisket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that was an idea for, for a general topic. And of course we'll answer questions like that. That was a phenomenal one. Yeah. And it's blowing up on my, on, uh, on mine. I'm over 200 plus views on it so far. That's awesome, man. It was really good. Yeah, that was, that was a really good, you know, good live stream. I, I'm really happy with that. You yeah. know, it's got, it's got good content. I'm actually going to, I went back and I, I pulled out one and, and did a short on, uh, uh, JT from Poke, uh, Poke, Poke Moonshine family. Uh, but I was going to go through there and see if I could pull out some shorts on, the on all of us that we could, you know, we could post up their little clip, you sure. know, 15, you know, 15, 20 seconds. I think but, it uh, had, it had a good cadence, um, a good vibe all the way through. There was no slow spots really. It was really yeah. interesting and it was good. Um, so yeah, I it was, it. It, was, it was a fast two hours. I can tell you that much. Yeah. And you were busy monitoring your, I could see you working. Well, we're all talking. Yeah. You're like monitoring and trying to manage the, the channel, kind of, and then throwing in questions every now and then. It was good. Yeah, it was. It was a, it was a fast two hours. It was like, oh my goodness, this, we are busy. Cheeto Cheeto says brisket. Absolutely, there's nothing like a good smoked brisket. Yeah. There we go. Um, have you guys ever? Um, have you ever been to uh, Texas to have uh, Texas barbecue? I have been through Texas on a few occasions and had uh, a Texas barbecue. Um, I've been through Amarillo and looked at that massive steak in there and decided I didn't want to eat it. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so, I like there's, it. there's a place in, in Austin. If you come down to Keto Con next year, because they have Keto Con in Austin every year. Uh -huh. So if you come down to KetoCon next year, uh, and all the all the big carnivores come here, all the docs are here and everything, um, all the YouTube personalities come down, which is cool. But then we can go we can go over and hit some hit Cooper's Barbecue on a, on a Friday or Saturday night. And Cooper's Barbecue does that's where I learned how to do the smoked reverse seared ribeye because that's what they do. They do a smoked ribeye where they smoke it for twenty minutes, get the internal temperature up to like a hundred degrees, one hundred and five degrees, and they sear it. And oh my god, it's amazing! It's an amazing experience. It's not cheap. It's a seventy dollar ribeye, but it is amazing. That sounds good. It yeah. sounds good. I, I like you a won't good get one anywhere else except for my house because I do them myself. But mm. <laughs> you, of course, if you come down, you know, I go to my house and I'll do them. It'd be a lot cheaper. We can do them for like you twenty know, bucks. I like barbecue, and I and I like sampling barbecue from different parts of the country because there's so much different. You know, if you go to the Carolinas. You go to North Carolina, you got one type of barbecue, and you go to South Carolina, you got a completely different barbecue. Yeah. If you go to Texas, it's different. I mean, it, it is definitely a regional food that has similarities, but has its own little twist that make. And, I, and I'm a foodie. I, I love to do barbecue. So I read an article when I was traveling for business a lot. Uh, it was one of these American airline magazines, right? Oh, you got a four four year stay at Fort Hood. Nice keto Cheeto. Hey, uh, just want to throw this out there, by the way, too. So everyone's doing interviews with carnivores, right? I'm going to do in a series of interviews with veteran carnivores. So Keto Cheeto hit me up where I'm going to start getting veterans and hearing their story, uh, why they went carnivore, what's changed, you know, try to get the veterans out there in a different light. So that's one. that's a series I'm going to be starting. Um, and I'm starting out probably next week on those. But I want to tell you about the, 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 oh, Cav. Now you weren't a Cav scout, were you? Cause that's like. That's like almost infantry, right? <laughs> I just, I'm blessing his balls. Sorry. Sorry, Keto Tito. I, I mean, I mad respect. Cav's cool, man. I was signal, so what do I got to say? You know, you can talk about me. You can't talk without me, right? So um, anyway, I'm, that's Army stuff. Sorry. A medic? You were a medic? 60s? You were a medic? Combat medic? I was in medical unit for uh, three years, so. Anyway, uh. The story on barbecue, I was reading an article and it said that barbecue actually originated in Texas and it wasn't a Texas magazine. So it wasn't like Southwest Airlines. It was like a, it was American. So I was reading it and I was kind of interested 
And it said that uh, the German and Czechoslovakian uh, immigrants who came here, which there's lots of German and Czechoslovakian towns around here. People still speak German and, and Czech in some of these places. They would, uh, they were butchers and they would butcher the cows and then there's no refrigeration. So they smoked the meat to, uh, to preserve it and whatever they didn't sell fresh. Right. And then people started requesting the smoked meat. So that's where the, and they, they used a, the Czechoslovakian word for a type of tree was Baruch. And that's where barbecue came from. That's what the article claims. I don't know if it's true, but it's kind of interesting. And it, it got uh, an element of truth ring to it, right? I'm thinking, well, that could be true. You know, that, that might be real. So um, anyway. Uh, Ram, That's pretty cool. I, don't, I, don't, I never heard that before, but, you know, there's quite a possibility that it's true. Yeah. And then everyone started adding sauces and stuff. So Texas barbecue doesn't really have sauce. That's like sauce is a condiment that you, you can use. But if you're using sauce, your barbecue is not right. It should just be so good that it just tastes great you know, smoked salted beef. And, and that's really what brisket is. Yeah. I, I like a good dry rub, but uh, yeah. I, I, I'm kind of partial to South Carolina sauce too, with that mustard in it, but yeah. I haven't had that in a while. I was stationed in Georgia for a while. And I used to go to, I brought up South Carolina to get that. It's all pork down there too. That's the big thing. They do pork. We do beef here. Yeah. South Carolina is, is okay, another be, uh, bit here. Oh. Richard combat engineer. Nice. He yeah. likes blowing things up. Nothing wrong with that. No, he's he's he likes going bang bang. Abrams M M A one A two. Cool. Uh, I had a, a very good friend of mine who's also carnivore was an Abrams guy in the Gulf War because I'm I'm an old guy. I joined in '84, so I'm Gulf War era veteran. Uh, probably older than you a lot. Cherry smoked pork. I do cherry wood. Yeah. Cherry wood's good. I like pecan or pecan, however you want to say it. Yeah, pecan, yeah. <laughs> like I said, it depends on how, where you are. Down but, in Texas, uh, it's pecan and mesquite. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, but uh, it gives a really nice flavor uh, to pork. I, I like pecan, so. Um, but uh, I, I like a mustard, uh, you know, a mustard-based barbecue sauce if I'm going to put anything on my pork. Hey, I just recommend you guys that are vets, go ahead and follow me and then get in touch with me. Reach out on my email address, which is on my YouTube channel, because I do want to interview some uh, veterans for carnivore uh, interviews on my channel in the future, if you guys are interested. So you're going to do those live or are you going to do those recorded? Probably both. I'll probably do recorded for the most of them. Um, I think record is probably a better way because, you know, it could be a sensitive. There could be things that come up emotional, you know, I don't know. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, well, then I think they don't feel the pressure of being, you know, live and you're doing a recording. So, the, and then you can edit out if, you know, yeah. somebody says something or, you know, has has an emotional point. Exactly. I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing, I already got a guy I'm lined up and I'm going to record it, uh, record him. So 94 to 99. Okay. I'm going to record this guy. That was during my break in service. I had a break in service uh, from, and it came back in in 2004. So C4 in the morning. That cord, that's my, uh, that's my engineer there. <laughs> he likes blowing stuff up. That's cool. I like friends that blow stuff up. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna I'm I'm planning on recording them, but I might go live depending on who they are. I mean, if because some vets like uh, I don't know if you know Meat Fueled Living on YouTube. She's a YouTuber uh, and a vet. I might do her live because she's actually a YouTuber, right? So she knows she'll probably be comfortable doing a live. Um, but uh, if they don't have any YouTube experience, they'll probably be re uh, recording. Yeah, that's what I do. I got one that I recorded last week. That I got to finish editing and I got to get put up. And I told her about it. I actually got to email you on that. I almost forgot. I need to email you that information because she wanted to talk to Vet. Oh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, I forgot all about it. So I'll, I will get you that information here after this. Um, but, uh, you know, I, recording was nice. It was a little bit more weird for me because I can just normally naturally talk, but the recording, I felt more pressure to, to, uh, Try to get it right or something. I don't know what the heck it was. Did but, you see uh, the the new Streamyard video? With, uh, I don't, you probably knew about the features for recording, where you can pause it and uh, and it puts your and then you can pause the recording and then restart it and it puts it all together into one video at the end, so you don't have to edit it as much. Um, I know it pauses. I didn't really pay attention. I didn't see the 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 uh, uh, 
the video you're talking about, but I was using it yesterday. I recorded all three of the videos I just did yeah. over the last uh, day. I did all those on StreamYard sitting in front of my computer at the house. Yeah, that's what I plan to do. So the first guy I'm doing is actually from the UK, and he's a Desert Storm uh, veteran. He was a corporal, and I think he was in their uh, Royal Marines. So that's pretty that's pretty badass. Those guys are not not wimpy. They're pretty tough. So uh, it, it should be a, a good one. And he's a great guy, Corporal G. He's on my channel all the time. He's like, Corporal G reporting for duty, Chief. You know, he's like, <laughs> he's very, uh, very motivated. And uh, he's lost a lot of weight. He sent me some pictures. He looks great. I mean, outstanding. He'll have a good story because basically his best friend, who is also a vet, uh, got just died, just killed over dead from a heart attack. And that was his wake up call. And he's like, I got to change something, you know, figured it out. So there's a program, there's a program that I use called Describe. Describe. Yeah, I know Describe. And uh, C R Y B. Oh. Uh, -E yeah, right? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, um, I'm using that, so I'll do my video, then I will put it in describe, and then you can literally go in there and remove all the ums and uhs and I knows. You just ah. clip those out, you can clip those out in a hurry. I didn't, and then I, yeah, and then you can go through there, and and I just remove where I repeat myself, and it, it cuts it. And you know, if you don't move around a lot in your video. Then nobody will really notice it, but if you're moving, yeah, you're getting, I'm getting you know, better at that. I'm keeping my head still when I'm talking because I know I'm going to cut stuff. But hey, send me a link for that too when you send the other because I don't. That's not the describe I was thinking of. I was yeah, thinking I'll of, send you a link of to, writing. It's one. nice. Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Adam over at uh, uh, Car War Today turned me on to it, and it's really nice because I can go in there and I can remove sections just by what's said. So yeah. if I want, if I said I know twice, I can just highlight I know delete and it's gone and it edits it and automatically edits it you know there's a there's a fee for it like anything else but uh, um i fun. find it pretty handy it's, it's time is money it. though right i mean it's yeah. worth it. especially when you're doing interviews and there's just all this conversation going on and you're trying to piece it all together yeah well i haven't done that yet so th i've been all just myself which is a lot but yeah so we got seven people in here and only two people talking so if you want to jump in there and throw us some comments uh, we'd be more than willing to talk to you, answer questions. We're just having an easy night here. Uh, one of our soldiers over in Texas, and uh, he's kicking back and relaxing, and I'm sitting here waiting on the wife to get off work, and we're just having a, a little chat here on the uh, on the uh, on the old YouTube. And I'm getting ready to do my MRE video, so this will be great for active duty or anyone that wants to do camping. I've found some good stuff in MREs that you can actually eat. There's not much. But there's some good stuff I, I, you can eat that's that's keto bore, I would say, not carnivore. I just I love the pound cake, but man, that stuff is so dry. It, it, yeah, that's not on the list. That, that'll that will take you and dehydrate you, and it'll make your poop really hard. Yeah, yeah, but it's, it's tasty. I have to say that's one thing I do like in MRE. What is the uh, uh, use what you got at the time. And then Tito Tito said, what was for supper? Barbecue grilled chicken. <laughs> Still cracker. Yeah, Parmesan cheese. Parmesan uh, cheese yeah. and two-step seasoning from Stale Cracker. Yeah. You know, in an MRE, you got to have that little bottle of, of uh, Tabasco because it makes everything taste good. So they took that out. Bro. I know. We don't have that anymore. They have this cheap stuff. It's like pouch and it's lame. I mean, I miss my Tabasco. That's one thing I look forward to. Yeah, that was the best part of the MRE. So it's because anything you were eating, if you put enough of that in there, you, it, it tasted you know passable. Mozzarella sticks, mozzarella and, sticks and diet coke. coke. Yeah, Ugh, I don't uh, do the diet coke. I'll do mozzarella sticks. Mozzarella sticks are good, but I, I don't do the diet coke anymore. I didn't like diet coke in the first place. I used to. I used to. I was a when I went to the movie theater, I would have a large diet coke and a big popcorn, and that was one of the hardest transitions for me becoming a carnivore. Was going in there and not having that. I felt naked, like I'd done it for decades, and now I go in and it's like a bottle of water. What the hell? So I went. And I started I, making pork belly bites and bringing them into my cargo pocket and buying a thing of water. And now I don't have anything. I don't even need a, a snack. I just watch the movie and drink my water. 
I'll be honest. I wouldn't watch the movie and I ate popcorn because <laughs> I just, yeah, popcorn. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, well, I tell you, once you get used to doing it without it, it's no different than just eating meat all the time. I, I, the I don't think the popcorn's really that bad. I mean, you know, obviously it's not carnivore, but it's, it's the fake butter. That's just, it's just soybean oil that they Beetle butter play. Yeah. Yeah. That's the, really the bad part. Yep. And that's the best part. That's what you get it for, right? Yeah. So my theater like... here, my theater here actually had hot butter you could buy that was real butter. And it was a oh, really? pouch and they put real butter on there if you paid them extra, which I used to always do. But then that company went out of business, like right after COVID. So I couldn't get it anymore. And uh, yeah, I, that was really kind of good. That's that's cool. That'd be awesome. That'd be my favorite theater. You yeah, know. it was. I don't go. I don't go to the movie very often, but we went and watched uh, that movie, uh, uh, the Meg Two. Oh, it was the, good. Know, the first one was, it was good. It, it was entertaining. I mean, I wouldn't call it great, but I wouldn't call it bad either. You know, and uh, yeah, we did have we did have some popcorn, but you know, it didn't throw me off my diet. You know, I'm I'm still doing fine. I'm like I'm down seventy pounds. That's you awesome. Know, like, man. You know, and uh, you're I below where that. I started now. Yeah. So you're well yeah. on the way. I'm well on the way. I, now I'm moving into the. Well, let me tell you, I've cut my belt <laughs> twice now. I've cut you know like six inches off my belt twice, and I put I put holes in it. Well, I'm in the last hole again. Okay. I got an extra. I got to show you what I do. This is a rigger's belt. This is an army riggers belt. And what you do is you got Velcro. This is what we do in the field because you get skinny when you're in a field and your pants start falling off your ass. You can't be cutting your belt and putting holes in. So you can you can just, you need to get a riggers belt. They have them on Amazon. You can just tighten it up and Velcro I it. I, I have one from my one, my days when I was bounty hunting. So. Oh, you were a bounty hunter? That's cool. Yeah, yeah. We, that's a good conversation. Yeah, I was doing some bounty hunting for a while, and I used to be a, I used to be a correctional officer too. So I've had a little bit of background in, in law enforcement over the years. Me too. I worked in uh, San Mateo Police Department. That's the the picture right here. That's my police department picture. I'm right in the middle okay. of that one. That was 2000 to 2005. Outstanding. So yeah, I have one of those. I actually should dig it out. But uh, I was looking at it today. I'm like, I'm in the last hole. You know, now I'm going to have to cut it again, put some more holes in it. You know, but I, I work leather, so I have a lot of leather around the house, anyways. I, I got a, a, some leather I'm going to make me a new belt out of, but I've been waiting, to, you know, to get my weight down all the way before I made it. Yeah. Yeah. So I just, yeah. I just gave up because I went through so many belts so fast that I was like, this is ridiculous buying a belt every two weeks or whatever. That's what was happening. I was like, my belts are just. I mean, my pants are falling. So I just grabbed my old arm. I went and dug through my army uniforms because I still have them in a bag. And I was like, where's that damn riggers belt, you know? And now I use it every day. So it's too easy. Cheeto Cheeto says he snuck some, I assume that's a wine glass in the movie. <laughs> wound up chicken. chickening out. He's a I'm, wussy. I'm such a wussy. <clears throat> Don't tase me, bro. <laughs> nice. Um. Yeah. Well, if he's a medic, he's no wussy. I mean, you said you were a medic, sixty-eight whiskey, right? Is that where you were? Keto, sixty-eight whiskey. Medics are not wussies. I can tell you that now. We got Mike in here. How are you doing tonight, Mike? Hey, Mike. Welcome. Where's Mike? Where are you come from, Mike? He dog says, <laughs> Dr. Barry says he's in the belt business. Yeah. Yeah. You need to buy some stock in belts if you're going to be making them, people go out and buy them all the time for sure, man. Dude. I tell you, if, you, if you like gun holsters, you have to check out my other Facebook page. It's Call Us Holsters. Yeah. I saw that you had a holster company. That's cool. So, yeah, I make, I, make, I make custom leather holsters. Let's see here. Uh, hey guys, I'm in Western Iowa. 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 Yeah. This is really small on my on my little cell phone screen, and my old eyes are straining. So, hey, I got my new shirts in, man. 
Check it yeah, out. Yeah, I like it. I'll trade you one. I'll send you one of mine for one of yours. Yeah, yeah. I'm a double X. Let, what, tell me what size you are, and I'll send you one. Or what size you're going to be when you're wearing it. Well, double X will work. Let's just go with that. Um, I sent one to JT, and he's sending one to me. I actually should, should be getting it pretty soon. So that's how he got one. So, yeah, nice. I'll, I'll trade shirts with carnivores. That sounds good, man. I will, too. That's, I'm, that's, I'm game for that. Let's see here. Uh, Keto, Keto says 91B. They changed okay. him. He's 91 Bravo. All right. That's old school. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, Keto or Keto Vore, Oregon. Yeah. Hi, guys. I'm listening at work. Okay. What are you doing tonight? We're, we're just in here BSing tonight. We're not talking about anything in particular, just whatever suits the mind. You guys got questions, though? Throw them up there. We'll, we'll definitely answer them. Yeah, we, we can answer questions for sure. We're just shooting the breeze while waiting for his wife to get off. Yeah. See, here's Duke right here. See his head sticking up on my screen? You might not be. It's pretty tiny in your phone, probably. I can see the movement. Yeah, that's him right there. Good boy, Duke. <laughs> He's almost Combat medic, glorified motor pull sweeper, track mechanic. <laughs> yeah, so everyone's a motor pool guy in the company. Radio and TV guy, Mad Law, Mad Respect for Law Enforcement and Medics. Yeah, first responders, man. They have a I have a really tough job, especially now. I would not I talked to the guys that I worked with. They're all retiring out now because it was 2005, 2000 to 2005, so it's been a long time. And all of us agree we wouldn't be a cop now. There's no way. Not with the attitudes going on with all of, you know, defunding and all that. Nope, not going to happen. I Mad respect for the guys that are doing it. I, my son, when he was little, he said he wanted to be a police officer and he doesn't want to be one now. And I, I was kind of thankful because I was going to tell him, man, you might not want to. It's it's not great. You know, it's already hard when everyone supports you. You take the support away and it's impossible. So, Mike, what type of radio are we talking about? Are we talking about, you know, AM, FM radio? Are we talking about ham radio? Are we talk. What type of radio are you referring to when you say I'm a radio and TV guy? I wonder if he's like a host because radio and TV, that sounds kind of like maybe he's got and a that, voice. I mean, that's what he's talking about, too. I just want some clarification on that. Yeah. I'm just here. In Iowa. Uh, Oregon here. Secret Santa t shirt exchange. Absolutely. Yep. <laughs> I'll, exchange, I'll exchange t shirts with other carnivore creators. <clears throat> yep. What you have for supper? Well, I'm going to have. Jake, as soon as I get my wife gets off work, we're going to head over here to O'Charlie's, and they got a Louisiana uh, sirloin that's got my name on it. Uh, I'm going to um, have short ribs that I put in a crock pot last night with butter and salt and beef uh, bone stock, and no, it, I let it I let it go on low for seven and a half hours, and it tastes. I had it for breakfast already. It's amazing. That sounds amazing just thinking about it. But then again, I'm, I'm on the end of a 48-hour fast. So yeah. right now, everything sounds amazing. The fun cops, evil DA, and cities don't have their back. That's the problem. So, Mike, what, what do you do on, on TV and uh, radio? Oh, here you go. Top 40 jock. Yeah, there you go. And a TV. So there you go. Nice. Oh, I'm standing. So I'm standing. That's voice. cool. Yeah, I've uh, I've actually watched a few of his videos on his channel. He's got some good stuff going on there. Oh, he's a content creator. I'll look him up. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, just recently went to uh, carnivore here. So, um, oh, cool, Mike Shaw TV, huh? All right. This <clears throat> worked in Roswell, New Mexico, Lubbock. Texas, Tucson, Arizona. That's kind of that whole general area there, isn't it? I mean, New Mexico, you know, love it. It's all kind of in that same general region. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll shoot you a link or if you, you know, I'm, you'll, I for call us holster and you can check out some of the, my gun holsters I make. Like I said, they're they're all custom made, form fitted for you know to fit the gun. So I've got a a uh, so in 2017, my division uh, that I was in, the 36th Infantry Division, we we went 
we were we became a hundred year division because our century uh, because we were stood up for uh, 1917 for World War One. That's when the division became you know, and that's the the T patch back there on that helmet. That's the the T was for Texas and the arrowhead was from Oklahoma. It was an Oklahoma Texas division, and uh, that's the one that um, Audie Murphy served in uh when the hell and back and all that the the most decorated soldier in the army anyway uh so i've got the 100th anniversary 1911 and i don't have a good holster for it so maybe we'll talk about that yeah yeah absolutely absolutely let me know i uh i got a i got a couple holsters i gotta knock out i gotta knock out one for a i'm gonna do a pocket holster for a little uh 380 uh a little ruger and I got to finish that up, but that, that'll be quick and simple. I hope I get that done this week. And then I'm working on a chest rig for a FM, FN uh, 45 cal. Guy's gonna, you guy's going to use it when he's out squirrel to, as a, you know, to, as a backup gun for, you know, bears and stuff in the woods. Right. Uh, so it's going to be, you know, right here on the chest. And so I got a design for that. I just got to knock it out. That's, that's going to be a big one because I got to get all the straps and everything right. Yeah. So you see, Mike said, just switch to carnivore content. New video tomorrow. All right. Well, I'll subscribe and check it out, Mike. Mike, do you do lives? Are you up for a live? Let me know. Uh, Keto or uh, Ketovor Oregon here says, I'm a board admin. I'm a board admin assistant for a never present financial advisor. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's not fun. Cheeto, Cheeto, tell me you are. Uh, tell me you are L U M I naughty without telling me. L Luminati, Luminati. Illuminati. I get it. Tell okay. me Illuminati without telling me. <laughs> Very active That's in awesome. politics in Arizona, political director of the state GOP. Okay, cool. Cool. I'm not as political anymore as I used to be. Uh, I guess I've become disillusioned after serving in the military so long and seeing that nothing really changes under any administration. So I just kind of dropped out. I just don't deal with it much. It, it's too much work for no, no return. Politicians can do what politicians do. So, <clears throat> I just Keto don't. here says I don't mess with people's retirement fund. Yeah, yeah. Well, Mike, I have a live on Sunday, and uh, you know if you wanted to join in there, I haven't filled all the slots yet. Uh, so if you wanted to jump in, we go from noon, uh, you know, to one, two o'clock, the latest, I won't go more than two hours. Um, and, uh, we'll have a predetermined topic and then we'll be asking questions. So, you know, if you want to jump in on that round table discussion, um, you know, there'll be, uh, four or five of us in there and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll do a round table discussion just like we did last Sunday. Carnivore yeah. soldier might be there. Um, uh, JT, uh, uh, Coco Moonshine family is already committed to be there and I'm working on some others. So, you know, and then of course I'll be filling other Sundays. So if you're not available next Sunday, then we'll be looking at Sundays after that. Uh, laughing out loud, the keto Cheeto, the Russ, the Rosal reference gets a reaction every time. <laughs> yep. The UFOs. Um, yeah. So where are you at? Because it's noon my time Eastern. So if you're on, if you're on West he's Coast, Iowa. so he's probably Central. I think is Iowa uh, Central, Mike, or is it mid, or is it a uh, Mountain Time? Might be Mountain Time. I don't know. Yeah, I'm trying to think where that's at. Uh, it's it's gotta be it's gotta be an hour. Yeah, at least an hour. It's because at least central for sure. Yeah, it's at least an hour, maybe two. 
time zone yeah. central. It's the same as me. So he's the same as me. So it's an hour difference. So if you do noon, it's eleven. Okay. So it'll be eleven o'clock your time, noon here. I may push that back because I do realize it's close to church and and I was talking to somebody else and they had the same problem. So I maybe uh, maybe I'll push that back. I don't know. Yeah, Sean was late getting there because church, right? He had to get home. Yeah. I can I mean I can push it back to one. I just don't want to push it back too late because I'm trying to hit that that uh, European market. Yeah, yeah. But we could do one o'clock and that would give people more time to get home. So maybe that's what we'll do. You know, and it's going to be the carnivore round table because somebody else has a carnivore conversation. I was searching the other day and that somebody else has the carnivore conversation. So I decided that I'm going to rebrand it the carnivore round table. Cool. Carnivore community is awesome. I agree. It is really a good uh, community. So far, it has been anyway. I'll let you know, Mike. Uh, shoot me an email at uh, carnivorebackwoods at gmail.com. And uh, we'll talk. Richard's out in the woods. Says it's starting to rain. Might lose signal. Well, Richard, if we lose you, you know, we'll definitely catch you on the next one. Church okay, for me, so too. 9 a.m. Pacific. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of the hard things, you know, is trying to figure out a time frame to, to do it. But I am... Um, I'm picking up a lot of people from uh, Europe and Germany, and I think we had somebody there from Denmark last Sunday. I went back and looked at the, at the, uh, at the stats on it. I mean, we were getting a lot of people over there, and so that's the nice thing about hitting that particular hour or yeah. noon, one o'clock time. I do mine on uh, on Wednesdays, and I do it at 7.05 instead of 7. And, the, and I learned that from watching Dr. Anthony Chafee because he does his five minutes after. So that everyone gets there for five minutes and is talking, but you don't start the video until people are already there. So that way they're on because they can start chatting and they do. Yeah. So you might want to, I'm just saying, I mean, for me, it seemed to work. I went to 705 and everyone was chatting and then I start the video and boom, people are in right away and ready to go. I also heard through other, other uh, YouTubers that if you, if you, if you schedule your stuff for weird times, like your video releases, don't do it on the top and the bottom of the hour, do it at the 15 or, or whatnot. Yeah. Because everybody else is released at the same time. And so then you're you're fighting with all these others, you know, for you know, new videos coming out. Good so if point. you do like seven ten, seven fifteen, whatever, then you're you're not competing against the large group of people coming out. That's a good point. Take notes, Mike Shaw, since you're since you're joining this. And also keto keto Vorgonian, take notes because Yeah, it's hard to say. All right. Yeah, I'm on I'm on Mike's. I got I I subscribe Mike. I'm on yours. It looks like you sent me an email. So that's cool. Cool. So anyways, um yeah, maybe I'll push it back and we'll we'll like we'll, you know, we'll start at 105. That's not a bad idea. And that give people more time to get there. Um, it don't affect me because I'm off on Sundays. That's why I like Sundays. You know, I'm, I'm off Sunday, Monday right now, but I just took a promotion at work. So, uh, my days off will be switching to Saturday, Sunday here, probably within the next few weeks. So you'll be switching to Saturday or Saturday and Sunday off. Yeah. No, you're going to switch your, your round table talk to Saturday. Uh, no, no, I'll keep the round table talk the same. Um, but I'll have Saturdays off to jump into other stuff. I don't, I don't know. I have to look at Saturdays and see how busy things are. Yeah. You know, I, I could switch it to there, but, uh, you know, I'll see how uh, everybody feels about it. Um, Mike says, I'm listening. Yeah, I told him to listen up and take notes because we're talking about how to schedule stuff. He's going he's gonna to do a – and how to release videos. Yeah, I tell you what works really good for me is that VidIQ. Um, I got I VidIQ. Two buddy. Sim similar product, I think. Right? VidIQ, they're, they're the same. They got a lot of, you know, they're, they're basically doing the same thing. Yeah. I post my videos and I, and I schedule them to go out at a different time. 
which allows me to go back in there with vidIQ and then make sure all my all my titles and my descriptions are good and yeah. that you know all my keywords are in there so that when the video posts it's hitting the largest group possible because you know YouTube's not going to give you any time unless you get all that in there exactly and I uh, I do the same thing uh, and, with, I think- and I have it send me an email report whenever if anything's not meeting standard and I have the standard set so Yeah, I like it. it um, it's got some AI functions, so you can ask it, and it'll give you some tips on making descriptions and stuff. Yep, same thing. So they were the same. But I knew they were the same. I just went with TubeBuddy because, I, I don't know, it's the first one I really dug into, and I was like, okay, it looks like it works. And I watched the videos. and But um, vidIQ, TubeBuddy, I think they're pretty much the same. They give you keyword uh, evaluate, uh, you know, basically evaluate your keywords and tell you what where they're going to stand in the search engine yeah. and such yeah same thing yeah exactly same thing. I, I found that one before i found the other one but uh, i i've looked at both of them yeah but uh, it uh, it makes sure that all my all my videos are, are going out as best as possible yeah and, and i and i you know my work in social media has helped a lot too but uh, i account for that for a lot of my subscribers because i can get it out there to a, to a larger audience even though i don't have the uh the view hours that I need yet. Um, I'm, you know, have a pretty good subscription group. Mike Shaw says I grew up in Oregon. Maybe that's why it's easy for me. What did it say? Keto Oregonian. <laughs> keto Oregonian. So it's Keto oh. plus Oregonian. Yeah. So keto keto Oregonian. Yeah. It's easier to say than it is to read. I think. Yeah, it, it's more of a tongue twister than anything. You, you know. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Yeah. yeah I got that one. It was too clever not to use, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Richard says over and out. All right, Richard, we'll talk at you later, bud. Talk to you later, man. So. Anyhow, uh, no, I got three videos out yesterday. I mean, they weren't overly long videos, but I got three different videos put together and out, which which made me happy. That's good. Uh, yeah, I saw one of them. I think. I, uh... And then I I pushed out a short today, which I you know took a clip off of our live from last Sunday uh, yeah. of JT and his closing thing. I thought that was pretty cool, so I, I took a clip off of that and put that out as a short. And uh, I'm going to dig through and see if I can find some other stuff. Once you know, you know. All right, Keto Cheeto. Talk to you later. All right, Keto Cheeto. We'll talk to you later. So that's lots of talk. We got 10 people in here and only three people talking other than the two knuckleheads on the screen. So. You know, who else wants to talk? <clears throat> You're going to be on the keto cookout at, at nine? Okay. Uh, if I, I should be home by that point, I hope. I don't know if I ever get out of here, that is. So I'll try to jump on there. When's that 24 hour? Is the keto cookout, that's Kip? Carnivore keto, no, Keto Cookout is uh, uh, Carnivore Today, uh, Aaliyah Wells, um, uh, what's his name, uh, home, is it Homesick Buckeye, or, or, no. Oh, I can, I can picture him, I, can, I just can't say it off the top of my head, but anyway, there's four, there's four of them, and they basically have an, almost like a round table, and they... And they have one person come in who tells their, their, or they have somebody come into the live and they give a short little, you know, about their carnivore journey and then they leave and then another person comes in. So they have multiple, multiple short guests. Three benefits of OMAD and one drawback. Bullet points for tomorrow's video. I must see what they're talking about. Or that's his. That's his video he's going to do. 
Oh, it... Mike said he was going to do a video, so that's what he's going to do. Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, so that's what you're doing. Okay, cool. Oh, I okay, I see. I missed that one. I had the whole uh, point. Yeah, on. so that's his. That's going to be his video. He's doing. He said he's going to do a video tomorrow, I think, right? Yeah, cool. That'll be good. <laughs> Mike says he loves the scurvy chick. Yeah. I, I always love it when people come up with something random and ask you, aren't you worried about it? I had somebody ask me um, in one of the comments one time, aren't you worried about getting jaundice? I'm like, what? <laughs> Oh, and I love when they call it a fad. It's like yeah. if it's a fad, it's been around for hundreds of thousands of years. So yeah. <laughs> eating sugar is a fad compared it's to that. Original, it's the original fad. Living healthy. Yeah. <clears throat> there it is. Russ, Kip, Aaliyah, and Adam. Is Kip okay. in this one? I thought Kip was okay, maybe I'm I don't know. I'll take your word for it. I'm not gonna argue it. I uh, I talked with Kip a little bit the other day via email. We're going to get together and do some collaboration here too. Is he pretty funny in person? He seems funny on video. Yeah, I think so. Um, so September the twenty second. Um, what is that? Uh, Friday, September the twenty second. I'm going to uh, to South Carolina and I'm meeting up with Kip and with Intentional Carnivore. And uh, I think my wife's off. Yeah, uh, is that that twenty-four no. hour deal? They're streaming for twenty-four hours. No, no, that's oh. a meetup in in uh, in uh, South Carolina. Um, it's put on by Carnivore Quest. Yeah. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. I took time off from work, and we're going to drive down. There's about three hours from my house. Nice. That's like a hop, skip, and a jump in Texas. Three hours is nothing. Yeah, three hours, nothing. I mean, three, Texas is so big, it takes you days to get across it. Yeah. Here. Everybody say hi. Hey, how's it going? She, they, uh, you're in my earbud. She says, hey, how's it going? So, anyway, I guess we'll we'll call it here. I appreciate right. you guys' time. This was fun. It was a good conversation. And uh, uh, let me know on Sunday if you can do it. I'll, I'll move it back to 1 o'clock. I'll put the word out. Let everybody know we're going to move it back to 1 and then uh, you know, shoot me an email. Let me know, and we'll uh, we'll get it planned. I think we're going to talk about uh, uh, different cuts of meat and uh, you know other things outside of the ribeye. Sounds good. Talk to you later, guys. I'm out. All right, guys. Soldier out. All right. Bye.